Hello guys, this is Shaunak here, your AIML consultant. So, back with another video. This is going to be a very short video, this one. So, what I am going to discuss here is about using Kaggle API to directly download your datasets from Kaggle directly in your notebook. So, the usual procedure what you do for downloading datasets on Kaggle is you go to Kaggle. By the way, Kaggle for those who don't know is like a GitHub for datasets where huge chunks of data is kept and you can get many types of datasets over here, regression, classification, images, even data for just data analysis as well. So general procedure consists of, let's say you come to Kaggle, find some dataset. Let's say for example, this hot dog, not hot dog. And then you download this particular data set and once you download it gets downloaded in zip format then you go to your downloads and then unzip that particular file and then copy paste it to your destination folder instead of doing all this what Kaggle has done is they have provided the API so I'll tell you how to use it so this is the notebook Jupyter notebook so by the end of this video what you will be able to do is you will be able to browse Kaggle datasets without actually uh, downloading from the Kaggle website that is downloading through the Jupyter notebook itself and uh, it will be downloaded directly to your destination that is your uh, current working directory where you are uh, using this Jupyter notebook. So notebook execution steps first what, what we will do first I will uh, show you how to install the Kaggle API. It is a very simple. Uh, it is a pip install method. Then uh, set your Kaggle API token, search for dataset, and then we will download that particular dataset. So, step number one install Kaggle API. So, very simple pip install Kaggle. So on my system, it is already installed. So it will show requirement already um, satisfied. So proceeding to step number two, set your Kaggle API token. So what you will have to do over here is download Kaggle JSON from Kaggle. I'll show you that. Then uh, save that particular uh, Kaggle JSON in a folder whose name should be .kaggle. And the location of this folder should be in your root directory. So coming back to Kaggle, I'll show you how to download this particular Kaggle.json. Click on your profile, then go to your account. And in your account, if you scroll down, you will see over here API. And here on your API, click on create new API token. And after it gets downloaded, let me quickly open the bash terminal. Okay. so. I'll copy paste this particular kaggle.json file from the downloads folder to the root uh, root directory where I will create .kaggle folder. So first let me create .kaggle folder in my root directory. So let me first cd to my root and then make dir Kaggle. So this dot Kaggle directory is now created in my root. So I'll now move the file Kaggle.json from downloads to dot Kaggle. Move from downloads Kaggle.json. This is the source and the destination will be dot Kaggle Kaggle.json that's it so i have moved the kaggle json file from downloads to dot kaggle folder now coming back to our notebook this second step we have completed it by the way this particular kaggle dot json consists of your username followed by the key so if you want to open it it is just dot json file you can use uh, pycharm or even simple text editor like uh, notepad and even your visual studio code to open this particular file now moving on to step number three here we will start using the kaggle api so in the command line since i am going to use this as the command line i am starting it with the exclamatory mark 
so dot uh, exclamatory mark kaggle followed by data sets list dashes and here you have to pass in the topic must the data set which you want that is the topic for which you want to see all the existing data sets so let's say if i want to see data sets for phone i will type phone over here and execute it so if you see i have received all these data sets list of data sets and it is in the format reference then title size last updated download count vote count and usability rating so the thing which i will be needing to download the data, data set is this reference one so let us download the smallest of the data set so this particular data set seems, seems to be of 3 kb and the reference is pressor tk mobile phone rating so let me just copy it and then we will come to step number 4 where we will actually be downloading that data set again going to the command line using exclamatory mark kaggle data sets download dash d and here i will enter that reference and execute it so upon executing this it will download the zip file where my this particular jupyter notebook is that is the current working directory for this particular jupyter notebook and it is now downloaded and it is showing the path where it is downloaded so it is c user sean jupyter kaggle plain data kaggle api demo so kaggle api demo is the name of this notebook and this is the folder the destination where the zip file has got downloaded now to unzip that file you can use any tool so the popular tool for unzipping is for python which is made for python python is the zip file so let me import zip file and upon importing i will write with zip file dot zip file and here i will type the source path which is mobile phone rating let me just type it over here mobile phone rating dot zip and for reading purpose i'll write r as file and then on the next line file dot extract all and destination path will be let's say phones so here it will get downloaded this will be the name of the folder and okay this this process is already done so if i import os and if you see the list directory for the, our current working directory you will see that this phones directory is uh, created after we have unzipped this mobile phones rating zip file and if you want to see what exists in this phones directory you can see that we have our csv file over here mobile phone rating by dxo.csv and if you want to read this particular file the most common library which i but usually use for data science and analysis is pandas you can uh, directly read using the uh, with open that particular file read so basically you you can use any method you want to read that particular file for demonstration purpose i'll be making use of pandas so pd dot read csv and here i will pass the path of that particular file and if i execute this so this is our data set mobile price launch camera selfie audio display battery this is how our that particular csv file which we downloaded from kaggle is appearing so very easy right to use the kaggle api instead of going to that particular kaggle and then uh, searching that particular data set and then downloading it then unzipping it so this method so this significantly saves our time using the kaggle api so that's all for this particular video if we found this video helpful please let me know thank you for your time keep rocking and stay safe bye